Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel video 139 and for the first time in months and months we're talking about something besides charts. What I want to show you today is this formulas tab up here. And what the formulas tab does is it gives you a bunch of different ways to enter functions into your spreadsheet. And what I want to do today is just walk you through big picture what's on the tab and then we'll start doing some examples and some detailed stuff and go through a bunch of these, a whole bunch of these functions over the next several Excel videos. That said, what's going on over here is what's called this function library. There are two ways to uh, get functions out of the function library. The first way over here is if you click insert function, what you can do is you can, uh, there's a way to look up what the function is. So if you hit look up, it will say, all right, there's a lookup function, there's H lookup, there's V lookup, you might need if or match or column. There's a bunch of different ways or fun the, the functions out there that you might be looking for and you can search for them. The other cool thing here is there's a most recently used which shows you uh, functions that you've recently used. So if you, you know, two weeks ago you found a really cool function, you can't remember what it was called, It'll show you on your most recent list what it is, and it'll also give you a definition here. It'll tell you what it's looking for. It will tell you the syntax or how the function's got to be laid out, and what goes in each comma, all the detail here in this insert function. We'll play with an example of this in a coming video. Another thing you can do in this function library is say, all right, I know I need some kind of date function. If you click here, it will give you a list of every date or time-related function that's in Excel. So if you're looking for today, oh, that today, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And it will tell you what's going to happen. It returns the current date, format as a date. There aren't any arguments. There's no nothing fancy to it. You can get help on it immediately. There's a function library that allows to to dump some stuff in there. This name area, we played with when we did offset. When you go to name manager and you define names and use those names to um, define ranges, we can play with this again over time. And we we'll probably will to do some names that aren't quite as complicated as offset. That's probably what I'll do with this names section. Then we'll spend some time on formula auditing after we've gone through a whole bunch of these functions. And what you can do is, um, I'll just hover over and you can read one. Trace precedence will say, are, you can highlight a given cell and click trace precedence. And it'll show you what cells go into that value. So if, you're, if you've inherited a spreadsheet and you're not the one that designed it, and you're trying to figure out what the logic is behind it, you can trace precedence or dependence and it will show you arrows and say here's every time the value in this cell is used in these cells kind of thing. And there's a bunch of things over here to um, show formulas. It will show you errors. You can um, evaluate functions step by step and kind of see where the error is in a formula. That's all in formula auditing. And this watch window, what it does, let me hover over that for you. You can put a little window up there and say I want to know what's what. I'm going to watch this cell change. How's that? I want to see every time this cell value moves. So again, if something weird's going on and you want to audit and figure out why is this cell doing um, what it is, you can do this uh, watch window and watch it. These calculation options at the end, if you've got a massive, ugly spreadsheet and it's taken forever, what you can do is you can turn off the calculation so that when you put it on when, every time you change a cell, Excel doesn't go through and recalculate the whole thing in all 10 tabs or you know hundreds of thousands of uh, lines of data. You can turn all that off and only calculate when you want to, and that's what's over here in this section. Big picture, that's what the function library does. Um, it's an easy way to get lists of functions. Typically what I'll do is if I know the function, I'm going to do equals VLOOKUP, and it will give me a definition over here, and then if I type the end of it and do a left print. Now it's going to give me a detail over here. It's, it's going off my screen, but it's um, it's showing me the parameters or what I need to do to make this function work. So there's a couple different ways to get a function in there. You can type it, you can go to this insert function menu, or you can find it in these categories, and we'll go through all those. We'll do a whole bunch of functions in coming videos. Look forward to seeing you then.